The TP-Link CP510 is a wireless access point designed for use in outdoor environments. It operates in the 5 GHz frequency band and supports 802.11 and AC wireless standards. It has a range of up to 500 meters 1640 feet and can support data rates of up to 867 MPs. The CP510 is designed to be easy to install and can be mounted on a wall or pole using the included mounting kit. It has a durable, weather-resistant housing that is designed to withstand harsh outdoor conditions. The CP510 is often used to provide wireless connectivity in outdoor locations such as parks, marinas, and campgrounds. Here you can now see the network-related settings. Here now you can see wireless and point-to-point -point connection settings. If you want to make it a point-to-point -point connection then you have to do the connection key from here. From here you can see all the options of your wireless network system and can monitor complete network system. This network system can be installed very easily so let's see how to install it. The TP-Link CP510 is a wireless access point designed for use in outdoor environments. To set up the TP-Link CP510 outdoor wireless access point, you will need to follow these steps. Connect the CP510 to a power source using the included power adapter. The access point should power on automatically. Connect a computer or other device to the CP510 using an Ethernet cable. Open a web browser on your computer and enter 192.168.0.254 in the address bar to access the CP510's web-based configuration utility. Enter the default username and password to log in to the access point. The default username is admin and the default password is admin. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up the CP510. This will involve configuring the access point's wireless settings, such as the wireless network name MSSID and password. When you are finished configuring the access point, click Apply to save your changes. The CP510 should now be ready to use. It's important to note that the exact steps for setting up the CP510 may vary slightly depending on your specific device and the version of the firmware it is running. You may want to refer to the CP510's user manual for more detailed instructions.